Okay, I want you to look at this again. Notice our head pressure is about 200. Well, when I added charge to this thing each time, Super E went down a little bit, but it stayed pretty much the same as long as that head pressure was around that 200 degree mark or 200 pound mark. So what I did later is I added quite a bit more refrigerant and I got that one coming up here. And note we're up to almost 260 pounds head there. Now the superheat, you know, subcool went up of course, but superheat is going along like that and starting to drop. Well, and after a minute or so, uh, the superheat dropped down to five uh, degrees. So we had this huge change, but it didn't happen until we got the high head pressure. So we had high head pressure was actually making the valve operate at that point. The valve was more or less stuck in one position and when I got a higher head, of course there's a higher pressure difference between uh, suction and head in this point, then I had enough pressure there to make this valve move. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the inside of the valve and see if there's anything we can find that's a problem inside. Okay, you can see I pulled out that uh, TXV that was hunting and uh, I'm going to take it apart. We're going to kind of look at the inside and see if we can figure out what's wrong. I will know one thing, this is a non-adjustable TXV which is very common for uh, OEM equipment. They really don't want you to adjust the TXV. Uh, so it's always set at a certain point and that's it. Okay, let's take a look inside. Okay, here I've got the valve taken apart. Here's your spring. This is the valve, the needle valve. And you notice it's black as can be. Uh, quite a bit of that stuff in here not doesn't bode so well. And then here's the, the uh, bottom. Okay, you can see the two rods coming down from the diaphragm. I don't find anything really terrible except there's a lot of black crap in there. Uh, I'll give you a close-up of this orifice in here in a bit. And we'll also take a look at that needle valve once I've cleaned it up to see if there's anything there that could be hanging it up. Uh, and possibly making it not move as smoothly, smoothly as it should. Okay, here's a close-up of the orifice inside that valve body. Uh, <clears throat> it's probably not as bad as it looks, but there's a lot of black crap inside there. I couldn't find anything that was really wrong inside this. But let's take a look at the needle valve. Here's a close-up of the needle valve, and I really don't find anything wrong with it either. You'd expect a ridge or something to be on it. Uh, so I don't see anything terrible going on with this valve except all that black crap in there. So uh, why was this valve hunting? Probably because of the uh, contaminants. They probably jammed it up so it would not move. So the answer uh, to this little uh, question is, you had a hunting TXV, and the reason it was hunting was because the valve was failing inside, probably due to contaminants, perhaps from an earlier uh, compressor failure.